this is a question from Sankar Mittals here. Find the deflection of the rod given that n small as the rod varies along the length as e is equal to 100 into e power of minus x gigapascal. For this rod, e is varying along the length here, 100 e power of minus x gigapascal. Okay, so in this one, remaining parameters, all these things are given in the diagram itself. It's a rod here. So this rod is having a load of experiencing of 20 kilo newton area of cross section. Area is equal to given as 200 millimeter square. 200 millimeter square. Then this length it is x is equal to zero and x is equal to l here and x modulus of the y is varying along this way and x is equal to one here, one meter. So you have to find out the elongation of this particular. Uh, bar here. What you're going to do is, we're going to take a small element at a distance of x, small element of length dx at a distance of x here. So let's find out the elongation of this small element and integrate all over the length here. So if you take the elongation of this element, for any component, it's a prismatic bar, elongation formula is equal to given by PL by a e. We have to substitute these parameters here. So for this one, let's take the elongation be d e here is equal to integral of p 20,000 into dx by area. Area is 200 into 10 power of minus 6 meter square into Young's modulus. It is given as 100 into 10 power of minus x gigapascal. So 10 power of 9 must be there and you have to integrate from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 so you're going to get the total elongation here so these constants will be getting simplified here so if you integrate this function after doing all these things here if you integrate this function 100 into e power of minus x here this is one so 100 into e power of minus x and if you substitute here you're going to get the final answer as 1.7182 mm here Actually, in this one, we're going to get it in terms of meters, but we're asking us to give the answer in terms of millimeters, so we take into millimeters here. 1.782 millimeters here. Okay. Here, one note point is there. Here, x is given as 100 e power of minus x. That means, x modulus is varying along the length here. So, it's a very hypothetical situation. Because in our day-to-day -day life, if you have any component, so that is made up of some particular material, so particular material will be having some value of x modulus. So for the same material, we can't have two or more rings modulus there because it's a material property. Understand? So because in strength of metals, we deal with this, uh, the materials which are isotropic in nature. So they must be having single value of rings modulus in every direction there. Understand? So we have to try to keep it in mind because learning of the concept is very much required. We don't, without having the concept, however the paper is easy, we will be not be able to get the perfect marks there. Okay?